ones. Awesome. Welcome, guys. Facebook Live. How are you guys today? This is Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com. And my friend Bill Bennett, the producer and founder and developer and creator, right, of the PGS, the movie. And so we're going to hear from Bill today about intuition, his movie, and all these wonderful things. And you know what's really fun? He's from Australia, guys. So it's not often that I have a, an international Facebook Live going on. But I'm excited today because we met just recently through an organization that I've talked about before called the Evolutionary Business Council. And boy, are there some big players in this organization and some big thinkers and real change agents um, and influencers in the world. And so I'm really cool and lucky to have Bill on today to share with what he's really doing in the world. And um, so Bill, why don't you tell him a little bit about you and what you do over there in Australia and uh, and then we'll get started. Um, well, thanks, thank you. That's pretty cool. It's okay. Um, look, I'm, I'm a movie maker. I've been making movies now for um, 30 years. I had a situation going back a little while. I was actually moving, uh, working on a movie in New Orleans, a thriller with, um, of all people, Burt Reynolds amongst the cast. I was driving to the airport early one morning and I heard a voice which said, slow down. Now, I'd never heard a voice like this before. And I was approaching an intersection. I had a green light. I was, in fact, running late for my flight. But I did slow down. And then a huge truck ran a red light and barreled through the intersection, just missing me. If I hadn't listened to that voice and acted on it, I would have been killed. And so what happened after that was that I, was, I became curious as to what that voice was, where it came from, and why it saved my life. And the end result is that I've gone and made a movie about that. It took me many years. It took me about five years in total, but even more, researching the subject of intuition. But I traveled all around the world and viewed <clears throat> the world's top experts on intuition. And this is amazing. This is, I love, uh, I have tapped in more into my intuition more in the last eight years than I ever thought was possible. And it was thanks to a lot of my own mentors and things that have brought it all to my attention. So I'm so glad you're talking about this because so many people aren't listening. They aren't listening to what you say, the voices in their head. I have another friend, Glenn Morshower, who's a, an actor in Hollywood, and he talks about the whispers, the whispers. And so all of it is so important, I know. And so what um, that's, the story that you share is so important, and I bet it comes into contact with a lot of different people uh, out there. And what other kinds of things can we, what, what stories do you might have about that, um, other well, similar stories? It's been amazing, Katrina, because I've been screening the film around America and, and also in my home country of Australia, um, and I've been attending screenings and doing Q&As. And time after time after time, in fact, there's, there's, I don't think there's been one screening where somebody hasn't either come forward, put up their hand, or spoken to me after a screening, or contacted me by email later, and told me something very similar had happened to them. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly, most times it involves cars, how a voice, or a premonition, or a moment of clairvoyance to save their life. But I, I, I guess what, what I've discovered since making the film is that what happened to me isn't that extraordinary. It happens all the time. It's just that a lot of people just don't talk about it because, to be quite frank, they're, they're often embarrassed or shy about it. Yeah. Well, and because we're like, okay, did that really happen? Or is that real? And should I, I mean, should I pay attention to that? And I am a firm believer, and obviously you are too, you made a movie about it, right? So. What can you tell us about this movie? Um, I heard you told me it was more like, and from what I've seen clips of, it's more like the secret yet uh, intuition version, right? Well, 
What it does is, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, a few people have said that they think that it could be the next big spiritual film after The Secret, which is, mm -hmm. you know, high praise. Um, but essentially what it does is it looks at intuition from a viewpoint that I don't think movies have done so before. For instance, it starts off with the baseline that intuition exists. A lot of movies previously made on intuition seek to try and prove that it does exist. We know it exists because all of us have had a gut feeling or a, you know, an intuitive impulse at some point. We know it exists. So what the movie does is it looks at why it exists, how it works, and how we can tap into it. And, you know, that I think makes the film quite unique. And certainly from the reaction we've had from audiences, it really seems to resonate. But I, 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 I guess the unusual thing about the making of the film is that I actually made the film intuitively. I never set out with a plan. I followed my intuition in every aspect of the making of the film, including choosing the people who would be in the, in the movie. And I've got people, I've got extraordinary people like Callan Mace, James Van Prague, uh, Lee Carroll, who channels Cryon, uh, Dr. Judith Orloff, um, Michael Tamura, Paul Selig, these extraordinary people. And I was just led to them just intuitively. That's how the film was made. And that's really interesting because most people don't do that they go into a plan especially with a movie i mean it costs money to make a movie so mm. how long have you been doing movies and tell us a little bit about other things that you've created well i've been making movies since 1983 so that's what 35 years i've made um mainly i mean this is the first documentary i've actually made for 30 years mainly the movie movies, you know, like thrillers or romantic comedies. <coughs> um, I've been a movie with Warner Brothers with Sandra Bullock. I've done small independent films. I've done larger independent films. I've, I've um, won prizes. I've been to film festivals. Lately, I've also been writing novels, and I've got a three-book deal with Penguin Random House for a series of young adult novels based around, of all things, witchcraft, modern-day witchcraft. So I'm a storyteller, basically, and I'll choose whatever form uh, best suits that story to tell it. If, it's, if it requires a novel, I'll write a novel. If it requires a documentary, I'll make a documentary. If it requires a feature film, I'll make a feature film. I've, um, I am a Camino walker. I've walked the Camino de Santiago across Spain, the pilgrimage route. I wrote a book about that, and now some distributors have um, optioned that and want to make a movie of it. So, yeah, I'm a storyteller. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I know a lot of, I've met a few people over the last at least couple of years for sure that, who have a movie in them or they, they wrote a book and they want to they want to sell us the rights to it for a movie or they want to write a screenplay or anything like that. Um, are, do you have any tips for people like that? Yeah, don't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Well, I've got to say, I mean, I've, I've been writing professionally even before I left school. I, I, you know, I trained as a journalist. I've worked in journalism, in current affairs, in documentaries, in screenwriting, and now in novels. And I've got to say, the screenplay is the hardest form of writing that there is. It's, um, you know, it, it is a very precise, um, very, very difficult form. You know, so it's uh, it's hard to make a movie. <clears throat> right. Well, I can't even imagine doing that myself. No thanks. Um, and the money doesn't come until it sells, right? <laughs> well, that's that's pretty much the same with any form of writing. Yeah. Right. That's true. So tell us about the PG PGS the movie. Is there somewhere we can see it? I know you have a website around it uh, with a trailer, and so pgsthemovie.com is where to go, and I'll put it in the chat, but. Yeah. Tell us what that's what does that stand for? Tell us a little bit about what your what your movie is. Well, essentially, when that incident happened, when I was um, when I heard that voice, and that voice saved my life. As I say, I was left with three questions: What was that voice? Where did it come from? And why was my life saved? And I've gone and made a movie trying to answer those questions. And in the process, what I've done is I've made a film about intuition, which explores intuition. Um, 
as I say, it, it covers the fields of religion, science and spirituality. I've got experts from all those fields from all over the world. And it does provide quite a unique look at intuition. What I propose is that intuition is a personal guidance system, a PGS, um, just like a GPS in your car, except your intuition guides you through life. But most of us don't acknowledge that intuition is <coughs> we do. We ignore it or we dismiss it or we don't trust it. But that intuitive system, which works within the energetic realm, our energetic realm within our body, is there to guide us, to keep us safe, to keep us well, keep us safe from harm, keep us alive so that we can fulfill the purpose for which we were born. Yeah, and that's amazing. I know Debbie was just saying, these voices are so normal for me. She's an astrologer and uh, let's see, and she's really taps into people's uh, being as well. So <laughs> she was just commenting on it. That's funny. Um, so where is there a way people can, they can only see the movie online or you said yeah. there's some showing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty much coming to the end of its run now. And the film is now available online to rent or to buy. Um, so if, someone wants to see the film, go to pgsthemovie.com and follow the prompts and you can rent it or buy it there. Awesome. That's great. And... Uh, sorry, Katrina, I've also written a book, the book of the yeah. film. It's, it's available on Amazon. Oh, good. So if somebody just goes to PGS Intuition as your personal guidance system or just looks up my name and they just better make sure that they don't, um, that I'm not Bill Bennett, who is the Republican politician. <laughs> I'm the filmmaker. Um, ah. But PGS, the book, in fact, expands on the movie and it puts in more information that I've learned about intuition than I was able to put in the movie itself. So that book is available on Amazon. PGS, intuition is your personal guidance system. I found it. I found it. I stuck the link in it already. I'm quick. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's orange, right? Orange type label. That's yeah, that, that looks like you. So very cool. Well, I mean, and that makes sense. If you're going to do a movie, you should have a book. And then I would imagine now, <clears throat> you know, I'm all about helping people build more uh, leverage business models and things like that. Do you have a back end? I'm just curious. Like, what do they buy after that, Bill? Do they have it? Do you have something for for? Do you offer something after the fact? Come on, um, look, <laughs> look, very very good question, Katrina. What I'm working on at the moment is a series of educational modules, which will be available um, early to mid next year. They'll be probably constitute about seven to eight hours of material, where I basically walk through what intuition is, how it works, and how we can best use it to make better choices in life. Yeah. Um, I'm calling it a real world intuition um, because a lot of people talk about intuition in real kind of woo-woo terms mm -hmm. um, and in terms that, that are often alienating to people. And to give you an example, a lot of people say that you, you need to go into deep meditation to access your intuition. Well, that's a bunch of crap. You don't. Right. <laughs> you actually don't. Most people get intuitive responses without even trying. And so the process really is recognizing when intuition does ping you and then learning how to acknowledge it and be willing to work with it and then end up trusting it and following it. You know, so so it is in fact in one sense, much simpler than a lot of people will make out. There seems to be a whole, I don't know, industry in telling people how complicated intuition is. Oh, I'm, I'm the other way. I'm saying, no, it's actually really, really simple. But you've got to do certain things to really tap into that. Well, like I said in the beginning, 
<clears throat> I never really thought about having intuition and I thought it was just for people who were a little bit more woo woo until I realized, no, I tap into it every single day and I just didn't know that I was doing it. So, Perfect. so Perfect. true. Yeah. So yeah. true. Yeah, that's the same with a lot of people, you know, you know, they don't even realize that their intuition is working with them or try to work with them all the time. Um, you know, and, and, and so what I'm trying to do with the film and then later with these educational modules is say, hey, guys, it's not actually that hard, but you've just got to follow a certain, you know, certain steps to realize that intuition is there <coughs> eager to work with you and eager to make your life better. Yeah, so, so true. Well, tell us about, I know sometimes when people are just getting to know uh, the new people, they want to know, like, who are you on a deeper level? Do you have a family there? Do you have kids? What's your story? Uh, what's your personal story, Bill? Um, oh, Katrina, listen, I, I live in a small country town about four hours drive northwest of Sydney. It's a beautiful wine growing town. Um, uh, it's a little bit like one of those places in the Napa Valley. Um, uh, the reason I'm here is because my wife was born here and she has family here. Um, prior to that, I lived in Sydney most of my life. Um, I have, I've been married for 36 years to a very beautiful and extremely smart woman. <laughs> Good she, man. <laughs> um, we've got three beautiful children and I'm very happy. Awesome. Happiness is the key to success. That's really the real success right there, you know? Mm, yeah. yeah. I just love writing. I love telling stories. And, um, and this whole thing about um, this whole thing about PGS and intuition has really changed my life in a very fundamental kind of way. Um, it's made me realize that, in fact, there are agencies at work that exists in higher realms that are trying to help you and guide you through life. And that's the, that's the big thing that really I've got from this. You know, it's really interesting. What I've come to realize is that, is that intuition works both from within and also from without. Um, you know, you can pull on your intuition from past knowledge and from what I call memory recall, you know, deeply buried memory recall. But intuition also comes to you from outside. It comes from, you know, from, well, for instance, that voice. How can you explain that? You can't explain that rationally. You know, yeah. So you, you've got to, as you say, look deeper into where that came from. And I believe that there are higher agencies, as I say, that are trying to protect me and try to protect a lot of people as well. Yeah, and I mean, you just have to believe, I think. It, even if you can't see it, feel it, touch it, you just have to believe, don't you think? Well, you see, the problem is that science needs to feel it and see it and touch it and measure it, you know, to say that it exists. And a lot of people dismiss intuition because they say, well, science, science says it's a lot of bunkum. But, you know, science is always playing catch-up. Uh, I mean, it, I think it was 160 years ago, science didn't even realize that germs cause disease. And science doesn't know everything, you know, and science is constantly, constantly discovering things that intrinsically we know is the case anyway. Um, there will come a time when science will be able to quantifiably measure intuition and you know, but that time isn't there at the moment. So we have to trust and we have to believe in what science can't yet prove. Yeah, so true. And so where, where do you really want to, like in five years from now, where do you see this movie or your work? Do you have any idea where that might be? What's your big picture? <laughs> well, I would, I would like, in, a, in an ideal world, I would like for this term PGS to have gone into culture so that people use it interchangeably with intuition, the word intuition. If, I, if that was the case, then I would regard my job as being a success. Mm. Because 
my job, I see it, is to demystify intuition and bring it into, um, take it out of the woo-woo and bring it into the, um, you know, on a street level, if you like, you know, so that it's not something that is, how can I say, you know, it's not rarefied, it's not sort of, um, it's not woo-woo, it's not, it's not something that, you know, only mystics and psychics and crazy people who wear indigo and have crystals around their necks think about. You know, it is regarded as something that is quite natural and common and is there for us to use so that we can help make better decisions in our lives. Mm -hmm. So five years' time, PGS, you know, look, my ultimate, my ultimate mark of success would be if The Simpsons did a whole episode on PGS. <laughs> just, just like they did with the secret, they did that with the secret. And if that happened, then I would say, right, okay, I can, I can mark that up to a success. Well, it sounds like you have a lot of good connections, especially in Hollywood and other areas. So that's one thing that's critical. I think if if somebody was looking to do their own movie or screenplay or whatever, you got to get those relationships built, right? And I mean, how critical is that to getting where you are now? Uh, look, I, I think. Relationships are one thing, but if you can't if you can't do your job well, then it doesn't mean anything. I mean, in the end, you've got to be you've got to have a compelling story, and you've got to be able to tell that story well. Right. Um, now, if you have how well you know them, or how powerful that person is, if you're if you don't have something that they want and they think they can sell then it means diddly squat. So I'm not I'm not a big networker. I'm not a big, um, you know, go go to parties and, you know, swapping business cards and things like that. I sort of naively believe that my work will speak for itself. Um, but there's no doubt that, you know, doing, say, podcasts such as this and Facebook Lives and things like this is really helpful. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's... Otherwise, you're not. You're only reaching your own small little world, right? Thank goodness for video. Let me tell you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Thank goodness for the internet for video. I mean, love it or hate it, we were ten minutes late today because of it all. But still, we're right here. <laughs> and, right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story and your brilliance and your fun movie and book. And I hope people that are watching or will watch the replay uh, will really take advantage of getting into this. And, and you know, like Jenna said, uh, that she wants to know more, right? So she wants to really yeah, look and study. Really for I mean, the more I go into it, Katrina, the more I, I realize just how fascinating it really is. And, um, you know, it, it's extraordinary. Before this happened, I was a skeptic. You know, I was, um, and and probably that's probably been really good for the making of the film because I did originally approach it from a skeptic's viewpoint, which meant that I was able to look at it dispassionately. Um, but a lot of people who make these kind of movies, they're already in the space. They're already a convert. I wasn't. Um, and so because of that, I think the film does appeal to a broader audience. Um but I've got to say, making this film has changed my life. It really has. And meeting people like Carolyn Mace, James Van Prague, Lee Carroll, Paul Selig, you know, Michael Tamura, these people, Judith Orloff, um, you know, th these people are extraordinary. And you've only got to sit in a room with them for 10, 15 minutes to realize that they're real and what they're doing is real. And if you think about that deeply, their connection with higher realms, it really lifts the top of your head up. Mm. Yeah. Well, gosh, uh, there are some people on the, the little line that are watching that would have a great conversation with you. You guys should totally connect. And yes, Deborah, Mercury is in retrograde. That is probably why our communication didn't work so well today because, you know, we are in two different countries too. And <laughs> so the miracle is that we're here and we're able to do this kind of stuff. But uh, it, it's funny how Mercury is always in retrograde, it seems like. I don't even, I used to not even believe that kind of stuff, but now it's 
I believe, I just believe, I can't prove it, I don't know anything about it, and I'm not a science person. Hmm. Anywho, well, thank you for coming on and sharing with us and sharing with Facebook. And uh, good luck on the movie launch and all that fun stuff. And I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And we'll get it out to as many people as we can. How's that? Katrina, that's amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And, um, and the Evolutionary Business Council has been extremely helpful. So, yes. Yeah. We're going to have them share it out as soon as we get done, too. <laughs> so, awesome. Well, I know it's uh, you're just kind of getting started in your day, and I'm ending my day today. So, it's already tomorrow over there. So, <laughs> I, I'm amazed with the time changes, but um, can't wait to come to Australia. Please let me know if there is any conference that needs a business and marketing speaker coach. <laughs> Okay, very good. Uh, very good. Right. And um, yeah, so thanks again. And bye, everyone on Facebook. Uh, a couple qu quick reminders for those of you following my um, I have a ton of events going on. If you want to show up to um, a free call I'm doing about being an author, that's on December 5th. If you want to get laser coaching on your business for 79 bucks, that's this Friday from 9 to 11 Pacific. If you want to come to my three-day training next March, the doors just opened for Love and Money Live. If you go to loveandmoneylive.com, you can sign up today for the lowest possible price, uh, even a payment plan option. So a whole bunch of opportunities. I would love to help you and get my hands on your business so we can help you jump, give a jump start this year. So thanks, everyone. Thank you, Bill. And have a great night. Go check him out, you guys. PGSthemovie.com. Bye now. Bye-bye.